is Joy Ruth the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Pokemon Emerald Little Lock Pokeant Lock Season 3. Today, we're going to be picking up right where we left off last, well, more or less where we left off last time, having made our way through the Victory Road, defeating the remainder of our patrons, at least I think. Uh, I don't believe that we're going to be running into any today, but uh, I guess we will see as uh, as the day goes on. But uh, today, we are taking on the Elite Four. We were up here standing in front of the Pokemon League and uh, ready to head on in. So... What we are going to be looking to do is taking these six Pokemon here that are presently on our team. You can see there on the sidebar as well as now on the screen. We have Bertha, Yuka, Strawberry, Casper, Watson, and Bonnie with us today. Uh, and all of them are level 70. So I went ahead and uh, just looking at the levels and we're going up against elite forward level Pokemon. Uh, having to make it through without healing in between. And obviously we can heal with potions and stuff, but... Um, 70s where I thought I needed to be, uh, and you guys have, have mostly just complained that I haven't ground up enough throughout the course of this series. Uh, you're like, Tor, you gotta remember, you're going up against the old Pokemon, and these are the kind of the best of the best, at least until next episode when we go up against Steven. Uh, and so I figured, you know what, this is just kind of where I felt like I needed to be. So I think that's what we're gonna be running with today. Um, I do believe that we have already stocked up. Yep, we've got our full restores and our full heals and our hyper potions and everything all set. Uh, so why don't we just head on in here? <laughs> And uh, take out the Elite Four, huh? Um, yeah, but beyond this point, only trainers who have collected the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth! Alright, we are believing in ourselves and our Pokemon. Uh, they have got us this far. We've had some losses to be sure, but uh, I think that, that our crew is prepared for the task at head. So, uh, we have Bertha up front. Obviously, Sydney is going to be the dark type leader. Um, so, e cattle like this one, the, uh, I think the only dark type uh, gym leader or elite four member in, no, I guess Grimsy? Anyway, uh, welcome challenger. I'm Sydney of the elite four. I like that you, I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. Uh, that's good, looking real good. All right, good match, good, looking good. All right, you and me, let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. Let us do it. Oh, little nervous, little nervous, but I think I think we're I think we're good. Um, I went through and did the TMs and stuff as I said I would. Uh, so we'll see here on Bertha. Ooh, I didn't think about intimidate. Um, but we'll see here on Bertha. Um, I switched out seismic taunts for brick break. I was considering putting this on Yuka, but in the end I decided you know what Yuka's physical attack is not that strong. I actually think he's got an attack lowering nature. Um, yeah. Uh, no. Jolly is special. Anyway, Yuka sucks. <laughs> That's the point. Uh, and so Bertha using having stab brick break was going to be a lot more useful than than Yuka having that coverage. So let's go ahead with the fake out here. Uh, and ooh, critical. <laughs> well, the intimidate may not matter then. Bertha may be able to finish off the mighty Yana, and he she does. Big Bertha taking down the first of the Elite Four members. Now, uh, this Shiftry does have extra sensory on it, so we are going to switch out. Um, and let's see, Shiftry is a Grass-type Pokemon as well, so let's bring Bonnie in, and Bonnie will help out with the Shiftry there. Also have a Cack turn at some point, uh, so we'll just go ahead. Um, Bonnie knows... I think I taught her Sludge Bomb, and that was the only other move that I taught Bonnie. Uh, Bonnie is actually one of our strongest physical attackers. Uh, Houndors and Houndooms are generally mixed attackers for the most part. Uh, Absol, a little torturing Pokemon. Yeah, let's bring... Bertha back in for the Absol. Uh, so I taunt her Sludge Bomb because that's physical and it, it doesn't really give us that great a coverage, but I wanted to put it on somebody and so she's got some coverage there. It's better than Smog, which she had before. So uh, let's go ahead and back out with the with the fake out here. Um, Absol flinched, which we will take. Slash, Bertha takes that pretty nicely and the Brick Break is enough to finish off the Absol. Fantastic. Looking good starting off here. Oh, Bertha still got the uh, Shell Bell on her there. Uh, great. I will tell you guys. Uh, I was bringing the Cacturn. Yeah, we'll switch back out. We'll uh, we'll just spread things around a little bit. Uh, <laughs> this Elite Four, or uh, not the Elite Four, this Victory Road sucks. Holy crap. Just, just grinding this Elite Four. Everything either has uh, like Roar or Whirlwind. Like all the Lairons and stuff have Roar. Um, all the Makuhitas and Mightyenas have Whirlwind. Um, all the, and then there's just Golbats, basically. Uh, and they have Confusion and stuff. And it's just like, oh my god, it was the worst. <laughs> uh, thank the Lord for like 1200 or like 1800% speed grinding with this emulator. Because, oh man, uh, Crawdon. Yeah, let's, um, let's let Yuka do the Crawdon. 
Uh, yeah, I think that'll be good. That'll work. Um, all right, so uh, Yuka has changed up a little bit. He knows now Mega Drain and Giga Drain. I got rid of Bullet Seed. Um, I figured healing up would probably be the best uh, that we could hope to do there. Uh, and then I just threw Toxic on there in case we needed to do some damage. And I threw Double Teams so we could potentially stall out the Toxic and things like that. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and just Giga Drain here. This probably will do it for us. Uh, yep, there we go. Super effective. And the first Elite Four member is down. Downtown! All right, well, would you look at that? I lost. It was fun, so it didn't matter. It was fun. Sydney, thank you so much for the battle. All right, so uh, you've got what it takes to go forward. Now go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. We will do that, uh, but quickly, before we do that... <laughs> literally, Bertha is the only one who took any damage. Let's see, do I have anything less expensive? Nope. Well, we've got these. Use them if you got them. Let's throw a Hyper Potion on Bertha. All righty, and head into the next room. So, in this room, we have Phoebe, uh, right? Yes, Phoebe, and she is the ghost-type leader. Now, we do not want to be leading with Bertha, with ghost-type leader, because Bertha can do literally nothing to any of her ghost types. What we do want to do, however, is switch Bonnie up. Um, yeah, that seems right. Yes, let's go with that. Um, Bonnie can pretty well sweep the majority of this team by herself. Um, we may we may need to make use of uh, Casper at some point or another, uh, but we'll just kind of play that by ear. I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Fire. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on and just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. Oh, we can inflict damage. I was actually, as we were doing the Pokemon Sun Blind Run, I was half expecting because they kind of were like trying to leave mystery on who the Elite Four members were going to be in that game. I really expected to see Phoebe pop up there. She is clearly, uh, she would clearly be a really good fit for the Alolan region. And then they brought in that random, I mean, they already had a ghost type trainer, Acerola. So I guess they didn't really need it. But um, she would have been, an, uh, like, to bring in her as opposed to, like, some rando from, like, some random fighting type or, or she, she was a flying type trainer, I think. Uh, I mean, Kahili or whatever her name was. Um, if they're going to bring somebody out of left field, they should have brought any uh, Phoebe. But whatever. They, again, they already had a good uh, ghost type trainer, I guess. But I, I fully expected, based on her design, that she might get tied in somehow. But apparently not. All right, there we go. Bonnie takes down the first Deuce Collapse. The second Deuce Collapse comes in. We will go ahead and switch for that. Because the second Deuce Collapse has Rock Slide and Earthquake. Um, so we will go ahead and we'll just throw up the Shadow Ball here. Casper might be able to one-shot. Yes, it does. Attaboy, Casper. Casper doing good work here. Uh, Leaf Force Cinnamon Net. In fact, we'll leave, uh, we'll leave Casper in because Bonnie's got a few more uses uh, coming up that I want to potentially save PP for. So uh, Casper, I think, could probably handle this. If she, it, the, the Deuce Collapse Casper just took down was the Ace. So probably, um, at, at least until we get to Sableye, Casper can probably handle this. So let's plan on that. Uh, Casper taking down its evolved cousins here, the Bannets. Uh, would have been Casper's fate. It would actually be really interesting. Isn't there a Mega Banette at some point? That may only be in, like, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, which means we would never actually get to see it in the course of, course of this game if, if Casper ever gets transferred, but that might be interesting at some point. I've never used, again, I think I've said before, I've never used Shuppet or Banette before, so, uh, yeah. All right, uh, let's see. The, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, yeah, we're gonna bring Bonnie back in. Uh, yes, let's do that. We're going to bring Bonnie back in, and we're just going to flamethrower the Sableye. I think that's probably going to be our strongest move at present, because uh, these aren't going to be super effective. That's not going to be... We'll just, yeah. We'll just do this. Okay, I was going to say we'll clean up with Faint Attack if we need to, but uh, we're doing good. Doing good. Uh, all right, we defeated the first two members of the League 4. I've got our lost. Um, all right. Looking good. There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon, too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead and move on to the next room. All right. Doing that. Let's move in. Okay. Now, uh, this is... Uh, she's got ice types. I think I want to lead... Strawberry? Because a lot of hers are water types. Did any Wait, did anybody take damage? They did not. Okay. Um, yeah, I think Strawberry's who I want to lead. Let me check real quick. Yes, she leads with her Celio. 
Uh, level 50 Celio is her uh, is her lead, and uh, yeah, I think Strawberry will be the best uh, bet here. So let's uh, jump right into it here. Uh, Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so they may hold my ice skills. But all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you, little one? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. All right. Glacia. Where is she from? Have we ever heard canonically if she's traveled from afar to come to Hoenn? Um, where where'd she come from? Where did she go? Where did she come from? Cut my Joe. Alright, uh so strawberry here you guys will see. I threw up uh in fact, is ice ice is special. Let's do this. Let's throw up this light screen real quick. I'm not super scared of the uh the Celio here. The hail will be obnoxious. I probably should have just killed the thing. Um but I also did put Thunderbolt on uh Strawberry. Another one of the ones I was debating between um I was like should I give it to Strawberry? Should I give it to Watson? But at the end I decided well th uh, electric is is Strawberry's only stab and Watson is going to have ice beam surf and and then spark. So I was like, you know what? Watson's got more well-rounded utility without the thunderbolt. I'll give the thunderbolt to Strawberry, and then Strawberry can come in and, and do some work. Um, all right, let's see. We have the Glalie coming in. Um, let's go ahead and bring in uh, Glalie. Bertha can handle the Glalie. Let's do that. All right, he'll continue to fall. It's all right. All right. Let's go for the fake out. I, I don't. I don't know what Pokemon have Interfocus and which do not. Oh, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I guess Bertha has Interfocus. Ice Beam. Bertha should be okay. Yeah. All right. Bertha's fine. Um, uh, should have just gone for the Brick Break though. I. Anyway. Uh, all right. Ice Beam. Bertha can take that as we've seen. Brick Break should finish Glalie off though. Yes, it does. Fantastic. Um. Probably gonna bring in Celio or something. Just in Celio. Let's switch Pokemon. Yep. Um, and we'll let. Uh, we haven't seen Watson yet. Let's bring Watson in. Um, but yeah, while we're uh, while we're doing the battle here, uh, one of the things we needed to talk about. So last episode, um, we're getting towards the end of the series. Obviously, this is the second to last episode. Um, but uh, one of the things we started talking about last time was uh, since we started this season doing the uh, patron NPC trainers in the series. I started to talk about you guys, uh, those of you guys who are patrons or those who are considering becoming patrons, um, getting moving on, getting your stuff prepared for next season. Uh, so we started talking about that. It sounds like several of you guys are already moving on that, which is fantastic. Bringing Glalie, we'll switch again. Um, let's let Bertha, Bertha can handle... That part's kind of hurt. Let's just do Bonnie. Bonnie can quickly shred, shred Glalie. Um... <clears throat> So we started talking about that, and several of you guys have already started moving on that, so that is fantastic. Thank you guys so much uh, for those of you guys who have. If you have not already gotten your patron information to Adoram, uh, jump into the patron discord and get all the information that you uh, need to know. Uh, but today, um, we need to be starting to talk about Whale Rain. We need to talk about Whale Rain. Let's bring in Strawberry again. Um... Uh, we need to start talking about our starters for next season. Uh, and this is going to change a little bit based on how we normally do starters. Um, because normally it's like, okay, we know what generation we're going into. And, ooh, I did not expect to one-shot the Whale Rain. We are a little higher level. Although, I mean, they're they're fully evolved. But the Whale Rain is a third stage Pokemon. Uh, and it's an Elite Forest Pokemon. And it has a one-hit KO, which I did not want to get hit by. So I think we're okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. So we're, we're maybe a little high-leveled. But I, I don't know. I feel like any lower than that, I would not have felt comfortable coming through here. So we were getting our butts kicked a little bit just in the Victory Road. And we were almost level 60 there. So... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what... You guys, we're fine. We're fine. Anyway, yeah. Oh, you the all-consuming heat overwhelms. It's no surprise that my icy skills failed to harm you. All right. I don't know if she... She doesn't look that old. I guess I, I assume Glacia was older. I mean, I'm thinking of Agatha. I feel bad now. Um, all right. Uh, let's, uh, let's do this. But we need to start talking about starters just a little bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and use these. Um, because um, unlike when previous generations where we're like, okay, well, we know we're going into Sinnoh, so it's going to be, you know, either Chimchar or Turtwig or um, Piplup. Um, we're doing our next generation in a as a random lock. So uh, we're playing Pokemon Platinum, and it's going to be randomized. Um, 
And what that means is I do not know what the starters are going to be until I start recording that series. Um, Addy is even doing the randomiz randomizer for me, um, so there's really no chance of me having any idea of what's going on there. And that's not why he's doing it. He's doing that so he can add in, he can do the randomization and then add in the patrons. Otherwise, they'll get overwritten by the randomizer. But, um, yeah, so I don't actually know. Okay, so wait, hold on. Let's, uh, let's move into the next room while we're talking about this. Um, uh, and... We need to prep again. We've got Drake here. And who is Drake's team going to look like? All right. Uh, yeah, we want to have Watson up front because Watson knows Ice Beam, uh, thanks to our TMs and stuff. Uh, and I think Watson, uh, for the first couple at least, can handle it, and then we'll uh, we'll see how things go from there. All right, all right, let's uh, jump into it. But, uh, so since it's all going to be randomized, I don't actually know who the stars are going to be. Um, but I still wanted to get you guys engaged because I think half the fun of this series, at least for me, is you guys getting engaged in some format on who we're bringing in, what we're going to be doing, things like that. So, for the starters, what I wanted to do, and this may seem silly to you guys, and I apologize if it is, but what I wanted to do to still get you guys engaged, I wanted you guys, ooh, uh, you're just wasting my PP now here, Watson. Or, uh, what was his name? Drake. <laughs> Drake. Did I call him Watson? No. Uh, Watson is, uh, is my Pokemon. <laughs> That's why I had Watson on the frame. Um, uh, I want to have you guys still engaged, so what I wanted you to do is vote for slot one, two, or three. So you usually have three starter Pokemon, and so going from left to right, we're going to do, or top to bottom, is one, two, or three for the starter Pokemon. And that way... I won't, like, the starters are going to be totally randomized, and it could be, you know, we could have a Phoebus, or we could have a Mewtwo. Like, it, it, it just is going to be completely random as to what's coming in. Uh, Flygon knows Earthquake, uh, but I feel like one-shotting is still something we can do, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave Watson in, I think? I really don't have anything better for Flygon, um, so we're just going to have to take the risk, hope we're faster, which we are. And this will certainly one-shot with the four times effective. Fantastic. All right. Um, so, uh, basically, I need you guys to vote in the in the comments. And, again, I know this is probably silly. I apologize. Uh, but I still wanted to have you guys engaged. Um, and I didn't want to, since you guys normally choose who my starters are. If we're going to just leave Watson in. We're going to just let him do this. Um, since I normally make let you guys choose who my starters are, I didn't want to end up at a point where not only am I not getting engagement from you guys because I enjoy that aspect of this the series, but I didn't want it at a point, especially with it being a randomizer and there being legendaries in the mix, both wild on trainers teams and potentially for starters, um, I didn't want to end up at a point where it's like, uh, I get super OP because, oh, I get the choice between a Cherubi and a Palkia, and I, I'm like, okay, well, obviously I'm going to take the Palky sort of thing. I want I want you guys to kind of pick. So uh, whichever slot gets the most vo votes, either one, two, or three, um, that will be the slot I choose no matter what is in there. Um, and it may be, you know, a, you know, what, what's a Pokemon that I hate from, I, I, I don't know, I, 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 I don't know, from Gen 1 through 4, I, I couldn't I couldn't come up with something off the top of my head necessarily uh, real easily. If it was if we're talking Gen 5 and beyond, sure. But uh, Kingdra, let's uh, let's change. Yeah, let's change for the Kingdra. Um, I want to... Let's do... Strawberry. I think Thunderbolt will be useful. It's neutral, but I still think, I still think it'll be... I still think we can do this. Um... So, yeah, I mean, it may be, like, Pertwig and, you know, Squirtle and, you know, well, I guess, you know, there may be an Apom in there or something, but I'm going to get stuck picking, again, Cherubi or some Pokemon that's worth Finneon or you know, some stupid Pokemon that, that nobody cares about or likes or whatever, and I'm going to get stuck picking it over over Apom or Turtwig or something because of, because of what you guys choose. So, um, wow, uh, that was a lot of... A lot of boost experience. I put this in a sale and storage of Yes, let's bring uh, Watson back in. So, yeah. Uh, again, not a lot to really say on that because I really don't have any options before for you guys besides option one, two, or three. Uh, intimidate. Uh, that's all right because we're just going to Ice Beam, which is special. Um, and uh, so, yeah. Options one, two, or three for our starter next season in the Pokemon Platinum Random Block. Uh, and, and you guys will get to choose, and that may be devastating. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, I will be going with majority rules on this, as I do with all the starter voting, I guess. Uh, you guys just are it's a little more vague on what you're voting for uh, at, at this point. So, um, you deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. 
You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from mercy. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go, go onwards. The champion is waiting. Okay, yes, the champion is waiting, and I don't want to go in that room just yet. Uh, let's hyper potion. Nobody. Nobody needs hyper potions. All right, then let's quickly <laughs> take a look. I've got to scroll over and find the champion's team. I apologize. One quick second. All right, and it looks like probably for the champion's team, I want to lead... Uh, I'm going to lead Strawberry, uh, just because I think that would uh, be the best bet. Um, all right, let's uh, head up here. Obviously, the champion, is sh <laughs> assuming nothing has been tampered with, um, uh, it should be Wallace, uh, who we met previously in the game. Uh, so let's head on in here, and uh, welcome to it. Uh, that incident at the top of the city, that was superb work. Putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Oops. Uh, it wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokemon. We trainers raised po I thought he was going to take credit for it. Well, it wouldn't really be fair to say that you did it. Because we were kind of there. But no, okay. He's giving credit to my Pokemon. I'll, I'll give him that at least. Uh, we trainers raised Pokemon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learned many things for Pokemon. And this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now, you can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon Ho and show me right here and now. Alright, so taking on Wallace, the final battle of today and the champion of the Hoenn region. We've done pretty well so far, um, but here herein lies the test. And this is kind of why I wanted to be level 70 in the first place, because uh, Wallace has, like, basically level 60 Pokemon, mid-50s and up. Um, and I just, I really didn't want to, uh, <laughs> I really didn't want to uh, lose uh, this battle. So uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and, oh, <laughs> take down, take down the Whale Lord. Um, fantastic. Strawberry game, boosted experience. Fantastic. Uh, about to send in Gyarados. Um, we will stay in for Gyarados. I know he wants to come in and use that Earthquake on me, but Strawberry can handle it. Um, Intimidate gets our attack cut, but again, Thunderbolt! Uh, and Gyarados will uh, surely go down. Fantastic. Uh, Wismacash will probably be coming in next, I would have to guess. At which point we'll bring Yuka back on the field. Yuka hasn't gotten a lot of play yet today. Yep, there's there's the Wismacash. So Yuka will come back in and uh, probably swiftly handle the Wismacash. Probably the last one... Uh, Yuka's really going to get an option to deal with potentially the Ludicolo, I guess, but um, that's probably going to be a little more trouble than we want to than we want to deal with. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. Just one more Giga Drain. Uh, Yuka comes in for the quick one shots, uh, and uh, down goes the Wismacash. Uh, I'm putting an M in there. Wismacash. Why was I calling him Wismacash? Wismacash. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't know that Pokemon's name. Am I thinking of somebody else, or am I just wrong? Uh, him as well as using Milotic with Torchin for one. Yes. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to bring in Watson for this one. I know Strawberry could potentially do it, but Watson will at least resist what the Milotic can throw up, and I don't, tr I don't honestly believe uh, that either of them is going to one shot. So I want to, I want to whoever can withstand the longest. Now let's throw up the Thunder Wave here just to be safe. Um, Milotic is paralyzed. You Surf. Watson takes that like a champ. All right, let's throw up the Spark here. All right, toxic, scary, uh, to be sure, but I think we can probably do, we'll hit it one more time. Ooh, critical hit! Oh, Watson, you beautiful little man. Oh, he did it. He did it. Oh, that's fantastic. I did not expect that. I was like, well, we're going to get it down, and then they're going to heal, so we'll take the opportunity to heal, and then we'll do it all over again. But, uh, hey, there we go. Instead, Watson just wrecks house. Uh, Ludicolo. Ludicolo. Um... Electric, so the grass moves will be neutral. So are his, so are the ice moves. We're gonna, we're gonna switch out. Um, in fact, you know what might be useful? Let's bring Casper in. Yeah, let's do that. I think that'll work. Um, let's see what Casper and Casper's shadow balls can do for us here. Um, uh, yeah, I, nobody was gonna be one-shotting the Ludicolo. They're too bulky, and, uh, we don't have any super effective moves. We don't have any flying moves. Um, I almost put, well, I did actually put, I put Aerial Ace on Yuka at one point. I'm like, Yuka's attack sucks, and what it was, but actually, uh, Yuka up against the Ludicolo with Aerial Ace might have, might have been helpful. But Casper took care of it, no problem. Uh, Tentacruel comes in. We will go ahead and change, um, 
Who did I? I guess I guess Strawberry. A second, we don't we don't we haven't had a psychic type since Tam came off the team, um, and uh, obviously our ground type Churchill is sitting this one out uh, because. As you guys can see, Churchill uh, was not necessary for today, and he's already in the transfer pool, uh, and he will be uh, sh showing up again uh, for Steven's team. All right, uh, we get badly poisoned there, but I don't think they're in heal range, so we'll go ahead and just Thunderbolt, and uh, there we go. I actually don't know if they even have healing items. No, I guess we one-shot at most of the Pokemon, um, but we didn't see anybody else heal. I know the aces all had citrus berries or something, but uh, I think that was it. I think we did it, guys. Player defeated champion Wallace. All right. So there we go. Um, the first uh, uh, hurdle of the uh, Little Lock has been completed there. Um, we will have another episode uh, next time. Uh, that was wonderful work. You were elegant, infuriatingly so. Uh, uh, and yet it was utterly glorious. Kudos to you, Tort. Uh, you were a truly noble Pokemon trainer. Uh, we got money. Actually, that wasn't that much money. Uh, the Pokemon you sent into battle. At times, they danced like a spring breeze, and at times, they struck like lightning. Oh, they struck like lightning quite a bit, because you're a water-type trainer, and so, uh, suck it! Uh, all right, uh, it was with light yet sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokemon. Even I felt bedazzled by your massive performance. I don't know if that means what you think it means. Um, you now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I pr now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region. Hey, this is my time in the spotlight, you jerk. Tort, here's some advice before you challenge what's happening. How'd she even get in here? Did she just beat the rest of the Elite Four too? Huh? What? 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 Tort, could it be that? Could it be that it's already over? See? What did I tell you, May? Did I tell you that you don't need to worry about Tort? Tort, you finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Pedalburg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you actually become the champion, oh yes! Uh, what became of your Pokedex? You're like, ooh, yeah, about that. Mm, so you've seen 154 Pokemon and you've caught 34. Well, it could be, you could use more quantity, but it, this is looking more like a Pokedex now. Uh, anyways, congratulations. Now go proudly into the final room. Tort, now let me rephrase that properly. The new champion, come with me. All right, <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who have become champion may enter. You have to wait outside with Professor Birch. Oh, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. That's okay. That's the rule. Uh, Tort, honestly, congratulations. All right, it's like, hey, we've we've met you like a handful of times, but honestly, I don't know who, who, how you get off thinking you're coming into the whole thing with me. It's like, no, you can you can hang out of here with your dad. Uh, this room. This is where we get the records of the Pokemon that prevailed through the harsh battles. It's here that the fleet champions are honored. Okay, so, um, as they are being honored and entered into the Hall of Fame, as I said, this is the first hurdle we have to get through uh, in this ending of the po or the Little Lock. Um, and so, as such, all of the Pokemon on the team currently, so Bonnie is already in the transfer pool, but the other five Pokemon, uh, Bertha and... Um, and Yuka and Watson and Strawberry and... Uh, okay, so here we go. Strawberry and Yuka and okay, Bonnie's already in the transfer pool. Uh, Casper, Casper's who I forgot. I'm sorry, Casper. Uh, Watson and Bertha. Those five Pokemon are now in the transfer pool. Now, several of those Pokemon are going to be coming with us to the battle with Steven, so they will have to survive the battle with Steven. Um, but as of right now, they are in the transfer pool, so hopefully they survive next time, and we'll be talking, uh, we'll be taking your votes for transfers next time. So save that for next episode. Um, but uh, we do have some Pokemon in there, and we'll have a couple of other familiar faces coming with us to the Steven Mantle, um, and so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, we've got one more hurdle to get through uh, here in the Little Link. We've got to defeat Steven, uh, and uh, and then we will be moving on into the next season of the Pokeathlon, our Pokemon Platinum um random lock which will be a lot of fun i'm really looking forward to that uh, just the there's the surprise and all the random pokemon you can come across i think it'll be it'll be it'll really freshen up uh sino uh, which sometimes gets to be a little stale i was was actually even watching a sino run recently um to kind of refamiliarize myself with the region and things like that uh, and it's like you get it's like all the same pokemon over and over and over and over, and over. so it'll be it'll be nice uh because i believe on any given route, we'll be able to encounter any Pokemon from Gens 1 through 4, uh, including Legendaries and stuff like that. Um, I don't believe we're going to be randomizing, um, like, st like natures and, ability and abilities and types and attacks and stuff like that. Um, I did one of those very briefly with Kay's last year on stream. We did a Pokemon Emerald uh, randomizer. Um, and that was my first experience with randomizers, and I actually enjoyed it for what it was, as its own little standalone thing, but... Um, 
I, I could not see doing it as part of the Pokemon. Like, that'd be a little bit much to kind of try and keep track of. It's like, oh, this Eevee is ghost flying type, and it learns nothing. Like, it learns nothing with fire moves. Like, it was, it was strange. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be standard Pokemon stuff, uh, but all of the encounters will be randomized. The trainers will all be randomized, things like that. Uh, and so I look forward to that a lot. Uh, but remember, guys, for this one... Uh, we are done with the Pokemon League Challenge. Uh, Going to be battling Steven next time. And for this episode, I need your guys' votes uh, for who you want the starter to be. Again, slot one, two, or three. Uh, and then when all of us find out at the same time who those starters are going to be when we when we boot up the ROM, uh, then we will have our decision made already on which slot we will be taking. Just to make sure you guys get your uh, earned input on the uh, on the runs. So again, in the comments down below, slots one, two, or three for the starter Pokemon when we start our Pokemon Platinum Random Lock here in a couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, guys, I've got a lot of grinding to do. Um, because besides the Pokemon that were coming into the Pokemon League today, I have not ground up any of the additional Pokemon. Uh, and I think looking at Steven's teams, realistically, and you know, we we did we fared pretty well today, so maybe we don't really need to go this far out. But I'm probably going to be getting our Pokemon up to level 100, uh, which I do not do very frequently in Pokemon games. This will be the first time in decades, probably, that I've bothered to grind Pokemon up to level 100. Um, but I think it might be needed. Uh, so oh, here we go. We're uh, <laughs> the game is game is reloading. Uh, so let's go ahead and. Uh, boot on in here we're back in our house um so yeah um next episode taking on steven probably taking on the legendaries as well we'll kind of do what we did with kanto um last season and we'll kind of just kind of bounce around the region do hitting the highlights so we'll we'll go take down raquanza we'll go take down uh Groudon and kairog uh and then we will go take down steven so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching i've been termed the great and you guys have been great make sure to leave those votes in the comments down below for who, what slot you want us to take for the starter um Again, majority will win, so uh, if slot number two gets the most votes, we'll be taking slot number two. You know, kind of how, how things like this work. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support on this series. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys back next episode for the exciting finale of the Pokemon Emerald Little Lock Pokeanthalox Season 3 as we prep to move into Season 4. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one.